of the Zeron's we're back in a video today. Today, this is my game three um, review of State of Origin for um, New South Wales versus Queensland. Uh, unfortunately, today um, Queensland got the win, twenty points to fourteen, and uh, I've got to say it was well deserved. I feel like that they um, have, you know, they're all the better team this game, and um, I think for the most of the series they were the better team apart from game two. But you know, this is. I think this is just Queensland's year. 2021 will be Blues year, hopefully. But um, I just feel like this year was Queensland's year and they uh, were the better team tonight. Um, but, yeah, look, I think it was just unfortunate Blues loss. I mean, at least the good thing is that Blues, like, they don't, um, you know, give up. They, uh, they're they always in the game. They always compete. But um, just wasn't enough. And I just think Queensland, you know, they um, took full control. Um, and just, just before I get into more details about the game, I just want to give a few shout-outs and... Uh, the first one goes to Nick from Australia. Uh, he gave me a shout out today in his Gold Coast Times review. So if, if you haven't checked um, his channel out, I suggest you go and check it out. It's a great channel. Um, yeah, his channel is really growing. And uh, I feel like that um, he'll be at 1,000 subscribers in no time. So I suggest you go check him out. Uh, also check out Warriors NRL Fanatics, uh, Rugby League History. Um, and is there anyone, anyone else? Uh, no, that's just my shout outs for today, I think. So... Uh, sorry if, if I've got anyone, but um, yeah, I'll make sure to, to mention you in the next video. But uh, yeah, look, I think that uh, Cameron Munster was instrumental in today for Queensland in, in their win. Um, I also thought that Corey Allen was pretty solid at the, at the back. I, don't think, I, didn't, I didn't think he did anything special, Corey Allen, Corey Allen, but I feel like he was okay. He was very solid defensively and all that. I uh, got in the sim bin, for, I got uh, right at the end of the game, went to the sim bin for a professional foul, Josh Adokar. Um, unfortunately for him, but uh, yeah, it was a professional foul at the end of the day, so nothing you can do there. Um, also thought that um, both both the Lees, um, not brothers though, um, the uh, Lees boys, they uh, are cousins, Brenko and Edric Lee. Uh, but yeah, the cousins. Uh, both I think I actually thought they both went really well. I thought Brenko Lee was very strong in his carries. I realised personally from my perspective, uh, I thought Edric Lee was very good under the high ball. Um, yeah, it was great athlete, Edric Lee. He um, was very good in the wing. Um, his defence wasn't that bad either, I thought. Um, yeah, I thought yeah, both cousins played really well on that right-hand side of the field. Um, I thought Sherry Evans, you know, did had another good game. I didn't think he went outstanding or anything, but I think, like, I feel like he, um, you know, his leadership at times was very crucial for Queensland and just just the way how he, um, you know, and, uh, gives energy to the rest of the side for Queensland. It's just, it's, it's really big and... Uh, yeah, um, good to see, good to see him lead, lead Queensland to, um, you know, well, good for him to get a win, um, but obviously I'm not happy about Queensland winning, but it happens. Um, now look, I, I'm not trying to sound biased here, and I know most of you guys know how much I'm, I am a fan of, of, the, of Daly Cherry Evans, he's my favourite, he's my favourite player by far, um, but I just want to say that I'm happy for Daly Cherry Evans, he got to win something unlike you ever probably, or, yeah, yeah, like, I'm just happy that overall Cherry Evans got to win something, unlike he would probably achieve at Manly ever again. Uh, won't achieve that moment he did tonight at Manly, that's for sure, I think. But I'm um, happy for DC. They got, got a win, and uh, it's good to see him just celebrate. And, um, yeah, happy for him. But, um, yeah, look, I feel like that just f from the get-go, I feel like Queensland came out of the blocks a bit more, uh, with, more mo well, with more momentum. Um, you know, their forwards worked hard. I thought Papali was excellent again. I thought Jai Arrow was actually pretty good off the bench. Uh, I thought Felice Kafusi was very clueless, clueless at times. He really confused me, Kafusi, because he's good at he's good for a little bit, then he does some really stupid things, Felice Kafusi, in the end. So uh, he had a very mixed game. Um, but look, I feel like the whole Queensland team really contrib contributed really well into, into today's win. So uh, look, honestly, well done to Queensland from New South from a, from a New South Wales fan right here. In me, uh, just congratulations to Queensland, um, well deserved, um, and just now with New South Wales, how how I think they went and some of their players in particular. I thought, um, well, for once again, I thought Payne Haas works very hard. He he um his carries are very strong, made a lot of meters. So is Jake Travoyevic, both workhorses, uh, Travoyevic and Haas. I thought, um. Well, I thought Nathan Cleary was, pre Nathan Cleary was pr pretty poor. I didn't think he did much. Um, at, I remember around the end of the game, um, on the last tackle, there were two sets where New South Wales had the ball, and on the last tackle, um, Cleary was supposed to put, um, excuse me, was supposed, um, yeah, was supposed to put like two good kicks on, on those uh, final two sets of the game, 
Instead, one of them was a very bad kick and ended up being a charge down from Queensland, and the other one became a knock-on, I'm pretty sure. So Nathan, Nathan Cleary's uh, game management today was clearly it wasn't on. He um, just didn't give the Blues enough direction. Um, I don't think he had a terrible game or anything, but I just feel like he really lacked. He really lacked giving New South Wales direction. That really killed. That really killed New South Wales because he didn't. Because he's a halfback of the game, and when you're when you're the halfback, you're supposed to be leading your team around, and um, and yeah, look, maybe it's because he had no James Tedesco there. Maybe it's because he lost Cody Walker at times, and he had to work by himself, but pretty much. But I think he had still a lot of quality players around him in the Blues. So yeah. Very poor game by Nathan Cleary, in my opinion. I thought um, Jack Wyden was actually all right at times. His defence wasn't that bad either. Put a few big hits on Edric Lee uh, as well, and his, some of his carries were not that bad. Um, uh, look, I think it was unfortunate. I think, I think with James Zedesco getting knocked out early in the game by accidentally by Josh Papali, that was an accident. But um, I think with you losing just James Tedesco for most of the game, that really... That did not help the case for um Queen for New South Wales tonight. I think, I think we all know how important um James Tedesco is a play, as a player is for um New South Wales. I think you know Teddy's all class and for losing someone who's won you know obviously he's a, he's a champion player Tedesco and losing someone like that is really huge. And he was a captain tonight as well. And um yeah, it's unfortunate to see Tedesco go. Maybe that had a you know I think losing him kind of. Um, really drain drain New South Wales as a team tonight, unfortunately. But um, look, I don't think that changed the game with losing Tedesco. I think maybe parts of it did, because um, losing Tedesco, he's all key to the Blues. But uh, he didn't. I think losing Tedesco did not change the game. So Queensland were the, were the deserved winners in the end. Um, who was another? Who was another player I was going to give a mention to? Uh, oh yeah, I thought, um, what, what's it called? I thought, um, tonight, Angus Crichton didn't do too bad. I thought Crichton was actually alright defensively. He made some good, strong carries as well. He's a meter, meter eater. Um, yeah, he had another consistent game. But look, I think overall, um, I think throughout the whole series, New South Wales are good. Um, I think in every game they competed, that's for sure. I mean, even though they lost in game one. Uh, they still competed. They uh, don't. They don't shy away. They don't ever give up. Um, in game two, they, well, in game two they put a curse on New South on, on Queensland all over uh, over all over um, Queensland that one. And in game three, even though they lost uh, again to Queensland, uh, they still don't shy away. They've uh, got a lot of effort in them, and that's what Freddie Brad, Brad Fittler has installed into that team. And um, I think I think Brad Fittler's Still done has still done an ex a terrific job at um New South Wales and to yeah he's got finally got his first loss as a New South Wales coach losing the series but I think he's still won the first two um but it would have been great to see him go with uh back to back to back but uh, it's footy doesn't always happen it's pretty hard to get um three straight series wins in a row uh definitely not impossible but it's hard definitely uh, in that case but um. Yeah, look, it's just, I think Wayne, and also the other coach for uh, the opposite team, which is for Queensland, Wayne Bennett. I think Wayne Bennett's installed a lot of belief into Queensland. I think he's, you know, got the culture there working again. And I think that, yeah, Wayne Bennett's um, halftime talks, from what I've realised, he's um, really, um, yeah, that's when the belief all comes in. I think at halftime, he really has a good talk to the team. He analyses the game pretty well and, uh, yeah, he uses his imagination and creativity and, um and he talks to the team about it, and uh, that really impacts the new uh, the Queensland team. And uh, yeah, I think Wayne Bennett's um, definitely has had a, a very positive effect on the whole um, Queensland team in uh, this year's series. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good thing he's back in the uh, new, uh, Origin Arena, but it's not good for the, for New South Wales because he's a mastermind coach, Bennett. And he could he could trouble New South Wales for years, possibly if he's still the coach, but. Uh, let's hope that's not the case. But you know, Wayne Bennett, he's a champion coach, so you never know if, um, what he could possibly do next year in the next year's series. Could be the exact same story as what it was this year. Um, yeah, but look, I, I think that um, New South Wales have had a good two years, 2018, 2019, two very good series that, that year, but then 2020, still very good, but I think Queensland had a bit more in them to get it this year. So congratu congratulations uh, to the Queensland Maroons winning the 2020 um, State of Origin series, and, uh, yeah, look, um, 
full credit to them and uh, hopefully next year's a blue, it's, it's New South Wales Blues year 2021. So uh, good win there, good win, good win there for Queensland having uh, a few debutants in debut and all, oh yeah. Also, Harry Grant. Harry Grant was just fantastic in debut. He got that match-winning try pretty much for the um, Maroons. He, yeah, Harry Grant was just a, an absolute beast. Him and Jake Friend, Rose Hattie, was very good in the hooker role. And I think Harry Grant with a uh, Queensland, hook, Queensland hooker for a long time. So, yeah, that's what I want to say right there. But, guys, hopefully hopefully you liked my um, State of Origin Game 3 review. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.